Okie dokie. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a table of contents for use in the Ghost CMS. This relates to a recent post I did over on the free CoCamp news publication, which uses Ghost CMS. So let's take a look at this post here. And if we scroll down, I've got a table of contents with 33 sections here. So I had to create this and there was some guidance from Colby Fayok here and a beautiful post from him, really detailed, including the video. And I'm just gonna go over what it was Colby detailed in their video and then go over my expansion on that as well. So let's first start, check out what Colby mentioned, which was you go into your ghost editor, which is uh, this page here. And this is the post uh, I'm creating to accompany this video. And in here, you can pop out the preview. And then you would scroll down to your first heading, which in this case, it's JavaScript to the rescue. You'd right click, say inspect. And then here you'll get the ID for that anchor tag. So let's copy that. And I'm also going to want to have the actual text for that heading. So let's just copy that as well. So I'm using control C. Now in my ghost editor here, let's just do it on here. I'll do a hyphen and then paste in the text I need, which is JavaScript to the rescue. And I don't need this bolded. So I'm just gonna use the shortcut keys here, which is control B. And I want to add a link. So if you hover over it, you can use the link here. Or you can use control K, which I'll use. And then I'm going to need to add hash and then the actual ID of that header I copied from the DOM. So if you hit enter now and then save and then go back over to the preview I've got, let's close this side panel here and hit refresh. So here's my heading. So clicking on this will now take me to this JavaScript to the rescue section which is great. And it's a great way to do it. If you haven't got a lot of headings, then that is fine. For the case of this post here, I had 33 sections and it was, I mean, if, I'm not sure if you can see the scroll bar here, but it's quite a long post. And I wasn't too keen on scrolling up and down through the whole document to add in these headings. So I did a quick Google. And the question was, how do I enumerate all of the HTML IDs in a document with JavaScript? Um, let's just scroll up here and see it, yeah. So this is the question. And I didn't go with the accepted answer. I went with uh, this one here. So I just copied that. And I put it into the developer tools console in the browser. So I can open that with F12. And I'm already on the console. If you're not, then you can pick it out from the list here. Um, I do have this zoomed in just so you can see what's going on. So if I do control V and then hit enter here, I get a list of all of the elements with IDs on the page. So that's really handy, but there's a couple of other things I'm gonna need as well, like the actual title of the heading. So to get all of the information related to the element, I can clear this here and let's tidy up this syntax here and make this modern JavaScript syntax. So I'll just replace var with let. And in the array here, I'll replace this inline function with an arrow function. I don't need this index. I'm not using it in this loop. And this can be an arrow function. Let's just get rid of that comment. Get rid of this comment here. So I want to get all of the properties relating to this element. So I can do that using the curly boys or the curly braces. So let's wrap this in some curly braces here and hit enter. And this gives me all of the elements again, but this time as an object. So I can drill into these and get all of the properties on that element. And what I really need here is the ID, which I already know, but I also want the text. So if I just scroll down here, I think it's inner text. So inner, inner text, so this here. So let's copy that, let's use control C. Let's clear the terminal and bring back the last code snippet, just use the up arrow key while I'm in the terminal. So I can get element 
dot id and then a new line i'm going to use shift enter and console log the element in a text so let's run that and see what we get now okay it's looking better if we go right back up to the top here we get a lot of additional information we don't really need like this is the heading all of that information so we don't really need that all i'm really interested in is a, like a h2 heading which would be this so if i go back to let's clear the console again and go back to the previous bit where we logged off the element properties and hit enter and let's just go back into one of these here that's add markup and expand on this i'm going to want to have a way to identify the heading type then i can do that with local name here and this is denoting it as a h2 so let's use that in the code snippet we're working on let's clear the console here go back up to the last one i was working on and then in here shift enter again to do a new line i'm going to use if and i want the element local name if it includes h2 then i'm going to want to console log the contents so let's try that now brilliant okay so let's narrow it down a lot more it's a lot less noisy in the console now and i can copy out each one of these here to start creating my table of contents so let's put that into practice for the actual post i'm writing here which is this one so i've got the javascript to the rescue in here and i've also got get element properties get them get the element id in text filter on local name the conclusion and then i've just got in some additional lorem ipsum here just for some additional headings so if i go on over to the preview and pop open the developer tools and go over to the console which is where i'm at at the moment go back over to here copy this snippet and put that into here and hit enter i can take each one of these now and start plopping it into my table of contents here in my editor so i've got javascript to the rescue i've already put that in here get element properties let's paste that in and let's highlight this and do Control k to put in a link and i'm also going to want to get get element properties here and i notice that this doesn't have the hash at the beginning which is what i'm going to need so let's just quickly amend this script let's clear this and let's use our element id here and we'll put this in some back ticks and then this goes in some curly boys we need dollar sign and i want this to start with a hash sign so let's try to run this again now okay so now i'll get the, the full id which i can add in so what have i got now get element properties get element in a text let's highlight that format this nicely i like that do Control k go back on over to here i should have put these around the other way so i've got the tile first then the actual id let's just roll with it for now okay so last one here is filter by local name to enter there i like this put this in some back ticks it's nicely formatted Control k run and grab that id and get that pasted in there let's do the last one which is conclusion so i'm pretty sure i can manage to work that one out from just the heading there so i like that Control k and then let's just put in the hash and lowercase c there so if I save this and go back on over to the preview and let's expand this out and then hit refresh. So I've got my full table of contents now. So clicking on any, any of these will scroll me to set that content on the page. Okay, that's it for this one. 
I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.